think it was, there was like a gang of us that would like skate and do it, like other things like bike. And I think we were just like under the bridge, which is where we would go. Uh, it was probably this time of year as well. It was like just the end of comedy fortnight. And I think we all just decided it would be a good idea to try and get something in the community because we were, that was when the CDT was sort of starting and we were sort of in the local news and stuff like that because of Cutty Bragging getting bought and stuff. Yeah, it was just pretty much a group of the like skaters who got together and decided that it was time to get a park or um, yeah, I think probably about eight or nine of us. Um, most of which have like stopped skating and stuff now. But um, yeah. yeah, I think yeah. I think the groups had like three girls in total over the years. <laughs> but yeah, mainly boys. Yeah. Yeah. In the beginning it was pretty regular, we would meet at the White Church I think every week uh, and yeah talk about like the plan and to get the skate park and like think of ideas of getting funding and different things like that, I was the week to week sort of thing and then it kind of got further and further apart um, and it sort of changed a bit of like we would meet and we would uh, like talk about trips and things like that. So over the years it sort of changed a lot. But to begin with it was pretty regular, it was like a week, weekly basis thing. Is that kind of a, a way of keeping people uh, focused on the skate park? We would like do the trips to get people motivated and get more people into skateboarding and biking and like other sports. Um, yeah, just to sort of keep us going whilst we were getting the money towards the skate park. We went to was it Glen Shee or Glencoe? One of the ski resorts a couple of times uh, and then uh, we done like lots of the skate parks in Scotland and done a few climbing trips as well. But... And a surf trip. Oh, yeah. We met with the, the local, not the, not the Perth and Ross Council, but just the Comedy Council a couple of times. And we kind of just got their support to start with, so they would um, they would support us in any way they could. Um, and getting a little bit of fundraising ourselves. Um, but what we've achieved, I think, is getting loads and loads of funding from the government, I think, from Sports Scotland and stuff like that as well. And we did get a, a design from a guy up in Aberdeen who designed skate parks, I think originally, but we didn't quite have the money, but we think we've got a design and we're still in contact with them. So we've got like contacts within the industry. There was like a few objections in the village originally, like where we wanted to to get the skate park place, and also um, where the the site that we originally wanted had uh, had like ants that were like endangered or something. I can't really remember, but uh, yeah, so we couldn't build there, so that was a bit of a challenge. Uh, I think some people sort of view like biking and skateboarding; they just kind of see it's people sort of like loitering sometimes just standing out in the street because it's not really like on a pitch or anything you're just going to do it wherever you like 
So I think for some people who don't really like it, but it's just a good way of having fun when you don't really have like any facilities. I think we need just people to be aware of it and people to know like we're really close to getting this goal of do you know how much it is? It's like fifty. Yeah, we've and got we're like I think it was six thousand we have left to raise, and I think it was around forty six or fifty six or something that we have already. Yeah, but if anyone's interested in any kids or any parents who think their kids might be interested in it, get them to come along to meetings or go on trips. And if they feel like they're interested, they can help fundraise in any way. And then if there's a bit of momentum, then maybe the uh, local community can support us a bit and then just get us over that last little hurdle. Yeah, I think it is March next year. Yeah, we don't have much time at all. Um, but. We don't actually have that much left to raise, so after the final push, it should be. Friends, friends, all the friends. Yeah, friends on the case. Yeah.